8000 series mobile clutches. The 8000 series mobile clutches are primarily designed for higher torque hydraulic pump installations. The torque of the 8000 series clutches range from 200 to 1500 pound feet. They are used on fishing vessels, for hydraulic power for pot haulers, and winches. They are also used on generator sets and in front mount truck PTOs. Most installations use a simple L-shaped bracket, which is not provided by Ogora. Sometimes the OEM will make a custom bracket for the clutch and pump. For smaller torque requirements, it may be easier to install the bracket first and then the clutch. But for larger clutches, it may be easier to install the clutch to the bracket and then install the bracket to the base. For this installation example, we are going to install the bracket first. Prior to installation of the clutch and pump, make sure that both the pump shaft and the clutch bore are free of debris. You should also inspect the bracket to make sure there is no interference with having the clutch and or pump completely flush with the bracket. Any interference on either side of the bracket could cause bearing or spline failure on either the clutch or pump. After cleaning the pump shaft and the clutch bore, put a thin coat of molybdenum disulfide grease onto both pieces. It is important that you do not use anti-seize compounds as they will wear down the spline in the clutch bore and cause premature failure. Wipe off any excess grease. Mount the clutch to the support bracket by inserting the mounting bolts provided by the distributor or OEM and tighten to either their recommended torque or based upon the grade bolt you are using. For most installations, the output of the clutch is attached to a universal joint. However, some clutches are configured to have a pulley output, but mounting to the clutch bracket is the same. Once the clutch is installed on the bracket, insert the hydraulic pump. Insert the bolts for the hydraulic pump and tighten accordingly. Place universal joint companion flange in place or other coupling device provided by the OEM. Insert the four bolts for the flange provided by the OEM or distributor and torque down to the OEM's recommended specification. Install the universal joint cross section and insert the needle bearing caps and press together. On the opposite end of the universal joint, make sure the companion joint is in the proper phase and that the alignment is in accordance with the Universal Joint Manufacturer's limitations. Each Ogura clutch has a part number, voltage specification, and date of manufacture. Before connecting it to a power supply, make sure that you have the correct voltage for the clutch. Most clutches are either 12 or 24 volts DC. All 8000 series clutches are shipped with bare lead wires. This allows customers to use their own terminal or connection to their wiring harness. If a varistor is not used in the OEM's wiring harness, it is suggested that you use the varistor provided by Ogora to help reduce voltage spikes in your circuit when the clutch is disengaged. A small pancake varistor is shipped with most MMC clutches. MMC 140 and larger are shipped with a tubular resistor. To help reduce the shock of clutch engagement, Ogora has an optional soft start module. If you have questions on this, please refer to the Ogora website or contact your local sales representative. To achieve full torque, new clutches need to have an initial wear-in period. Depending upon inertia and speed, the wear-in period can be anywhere from 30 to 100 engagements. Burnishing should be done at a reduced RPM and at a reduced clutch load. For high inertia loads, do not cycle the clutch more than four times per minute.